hello friends welcome once again in my channel innovative ideas today i want to show you how to install ubuntu latest version on your system i will show you on my virtual vmware virtual box you can apply it on your physical system so for this i have started in the new operating system that is ubuntu ubuntu 64 bit download link for ubuntu 64 bit i have given here i will select the ram approximately 2 gb that is 2048 mb I'll click on the next and creating a virtual hard disk now and creating virtual box disk image that is next and the fixed size should not be uh, taken it should be dynamically allocated click on next and here the partition is a virtual hard drive partition at 8 GB so I will increase it up to 128 GB just for the example you may have 500 GB or more and uh, by selecting 128 GB click on the folder and click on the save so this is the address where this uh, virtual drive will be saved and I am creating the partitions and uh, after this I click on start as uh, here you can show that my Ubuntu 16.04 this is the latest version 64 bit is on drive E and I am I will mount it on the power ISO image Ubuntu 16.04 the, the drive is G so here I will select the drive G and I will get start you can physically select your first boot device as a CD-ROM or DVD or pen drive from where you want to install and uh, after that you can follow these steps if you are using physical computer. Setup is being started. So here uh, on the left side you can see the language which you want to select and by default it's English and I will also install this in English version you can run direct you can run directly Ubuntu from your CD-ROM DVD-ROM or your pen drive for that you have to click on this but I will let you show how to install Ubuntu with partitions so I will just click on this just check install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware flash mp3 and other media click on continue if you want to select the whole drive for Ubuntu you have to check this radio button erase disk and install Ubuntu and if you want to uh, make partitions on your hard drive then check something else click on continue and uh, here we are getting slash dev slash sda click on new partition table and continue select this and click on plus or add here I will select uh, approximately uh, 40 GB that is uh, 40,000 approximately and select mount, mount point as a slash only and click on OK and uh, next click on free space and click on plus and uh, in this approximately 2 GB we have to make it free 
for swab area that is necessary if you are using partitions on your hard drive user swap area click on ok and the this free space you must add as the file mount point as a home click on ok now click on install now Here is the message, write the changes to disk, click continue and your Ubuntu starts installing. Here you can select your zone, where do you live. So as I belong to India, that's why I click on this India and the time zone came here, Kolkata and click on continue. Here you can select your keyboard layout. I will prefer English. Here you have to give your name, uh, typing that uh, innovative and uh, you can make password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or whatever you desire. Click on continue. Now it's copying files and be patient please wait for approximately 20 minutes only and your system will be ready after copying and configuring hardware we are getting this message of restart now Installation is complete. You need to restart your computer in order to use the new installation. So click on restart now. And here we are getting a message that please remove the installation medium then press enter. If you are using physical hard drive, physical computer then unmount the drive or Take out your DVD from your DVD row and press enter. The system will restart. Uh, you have to give the password which we have given earlier so I have given one two three four five and enter and here we go so in this way you can install Ubuntu on your PC is the search bar and this is files this is your computer this is the home button and this is the setting of your PC so guys this was the tutorial for Installing Ubuntu latest version on your PC. Just try it. It's a virus free operating system trusted in most of the countries nowadays. Thanks for watching innovative ideas. Keep innovating. Thank you.